Just uh, stay where we're kind of at at the moment because um, I, I read your documents and they were too late. It was insulting, by the way, for the committee and for the staff. Um, it didn't go down well. But I did find your documents uh, uh, quite compelling uh, and a very strong rebuttal. Um, some of my initial thoughts was beginning to fall apart a bit. Um, RT, and they're watching this obviously, and the DG is watching this, the statement that RT issued this morning is astonishing. If the DG is not watching this, somebody tell him that whoever issued this and how it was issued, because it's quite obvious from the documentation and fairness to yourselves that you provided in relation to uh, the um, uh, side payment or side deal, as the email from RT from um, Brida O'Keefe says, we can provide you with a side letter to underwrite this fee for the duration of the contract. It's quite obvious uh, that that evidence is, is very compelling to our committee based on the evidence we've been given before by RT and completely contradictory. The two of them totally opposite. So that's a big tick mark on, on your side. However, on the other side, um, there was no 20% uh, drop in salary, in real terms. Um, and to say so has no credibility whatsoever, zero, uh, given uh, the 75k and, and the various different payments. Um, it was absorbed in a different way that's quite obvious. The second issue which brings huge amount of credibility is you must have said, Mr Kelly, about 15 times you were acting under instructions from RTE in relation to the payment processes. So the first payment goes through Noel Kelly, uh, one of your companies, and that's ran out the first year. And the second one's uh, through Atos, uh, through CMS. So why the switch over? Okay. Um, but the real issue is, you know, I've always these emails coming into me from these where Nigerian cousins said I won the lotto and they're instructing me to do the following X, Y and Z. I don't do it. I think you've got serious accountancy issues here. I think your companies have serious accountancy issues here. Based on what the evidence you're giving here. Because the fact is, this is not how companies behave. They get instructions to pay to an anonymized unknown company uh, for something that's then referred as consultancy fees and under a contract that has been negotiated with RTE for private work outside and then switches from Noel Kelly to CMS for the second and third year. None of this is credible. It doesn't stand up. So that's where your arguments are falling down. Now, I want to base some questions. Firstly, you talk about, and you mentioned the 20%, and sorry, sharp, uh, short answers purely because of time, not, not trying to be rude or anything. Um, the 20% drop. In the years 2015 to 2019, then 2019 to 2023, um, I asked this question to Ryan. Um, your work schedule. So, Mr. Kelly has said you took a 20% drop. I think all of us know here now that that ain't accurate. But your work schedule. Were you doing the same amount of hours on all the shows? So are we comparing apples with apples, oranges with oranges? Was there a change between 2015 to 2019 and 2019 to 23 in relation to your hours of work? So then we can correlate again across how much of a drop in pay there actually really was based on hours worked. You're trying to establish the percentage of the pay cut I took in the years from... No, I'm asking you, know. you it's a very simple question. No, it's, I'm sorry, this I know, is not it's my tiresome, strength. I know. No, but, it's not tiresome, it's just it's not my ballpark. Okay, but, but did you do the same amount of hours on your radio show and TV show from 20, 20, 2019 to 2023 as you would do per year 2015 to 2019? I would imagine so, yeah. Okay. So it is the exact same? Yeah, two, okay. 205 um, radio shows could go up to two, and then uh, 38 two-hour TV, TV, provide TV minimum two-hour TV shows, but that could go on till 12 o'clock, could be two and a half hours, it just depends. Whether so you didn't make, look for any changes in the contract to lessen the amount of hours or lessen the end time or anything like that? I think that there were conversations insofar as, um, the big issue is that 
I can ask. The, the, so the longer the duration of the Late Late Show, the more sponsors, the, asking, the yes. more advertising that actually goes in. I so understand there that. was a pushback in relation to we asked if we could finish the Late Late at a hard half eleven. So that would have been two hours, and two hours is in the contract. But sometimes it went up to twelve, quarter past twelve. No. I know, I, was so, I know. You know the score. Right. It can go but, late. But, but, late. But my point being is, was there any changes in relation to your hours in actual real terms, uh, contractually or anything? And you're saying no. No. Okay, no. fine. Um, I just want to get back to the CMS versus NK issue because I'm very interested by Paul Maluli's kind of overlap of um, various different uh, uh, emails to yourselves in relation to the audit that came through. Um, it's interesting that she um, she asks uh, you the, you confirm the invoices or uh, she asks about the invoices uh, in on May the third in relation to the two seventy five thousands and um, you know the emails go to NK management um, but the response is from CMS the response is information from CMS my issue here is CMS do they do or have CMS done a large quantity of work with RTE separately? No. None? No. What is, why would NK management, um, why would that be swapped out and CMS put in for payment purposes, <coughs> communication purposes from a corporate management point of view? As I say, they own the two companies and sometimes we'd invoice out of one, sometimes out of another, and they'd cross invoice, so there's no... But I turn your eyes to heaven saying they cross over. No, from no, a corporate no, no, governance point of view, do you think that... From a corporate governance point of view? We, we again, from we an were, accountancy point of view? Sure, again, we were asked to invoice. We were asked how to invoice, when to invoice. Yeah, but Why sorry, now, I'm, I'm going to be straight. I don't buy any of that. I don't think anybody listening, watching, here in this room buys that. As I've said earlier on, it's not... It's not uh, I think Deputy Dillon and Deputy O'Carthy uh, went through this. Um, this is not appropriate and how things should be done. Okay? Um, so, in relation to NK management, can you tell us uh, there was a new company set up, Noel Kelly Management Nominees Limited, registered on the 16th of March 2023. So, this is a third company. Yeah. And what's the purpose of that? Um, I didn't. I, I, I didn't, uh, I'm not here to discuss that. Okay, I'm fine. I'm here to discuss fine, exactly fine. what's so it's not to, But it's nothing to do with anything to do with here? Yeah. It's not, obviously. No. Right, that's fine. In relation to, um, so from your, from your uh, perspective as regards, you sell, uh, you get advertising clients into RTE on the one hand, and obviously you represent various different clients agent, as an agent to the stars or talent, whatever phrase people are using these days, uh, on the other hand. So there must be significant, you're doing significant amount of business for RT as regards generating advertising revenue on the one hand, and obviously negotiating fairly significant contracts for your clients who work in RT on the other hand. Is that a fair statement? No. No? No, no. So, for instance, um, we have, we have uh, a young chef on our books and um sorry if you just, just sorry, sorry no but i'm just i'm just trying, I'm just trying to explain the young chef in our books and then we got that chef a book deal right so now the chef's an author yeah and then we got the chef a tv show some of the money that would so the, the issue is there's, there's there's a huge lack of funding for program making so we would try and get sponsors to help make to help but you make do get show. sponsors for rt to for advertising purposes for no would it be for it would be for completely independent shows that okay RT, well look that I'll be honest with you. Buy, but i'm, I'm just not saying that give me this information i'll be asking rt for the last 10 years sure. based on advertising and clients mm -hmm. uh, all of that so we'll be we'll be getting all that sure come last three very quick questions to ryan um Earlier, your agents or your representative, Mr. Kelly, said a contract uh, isn't a contract unless it's agreed by both parties. So, how do you stand currently as regards your relationship with RTE? Are you employed or not? Uh, how do you perceive that? That's the first question. Okay, sec well, sec I, second question, you can take these down. That's the right. first question. Second question is in, in, in relation to in relation to um, the one of the gigs with Reynolds. There was a, an invoice for 847 for somebody to be assist you or something, you might draw a light on that because a number of us would. And thirdly, and this genuine honest question, um, Thai Show the Musical has been an unmitigated disaster, right? Conceptually in every way. In fairness to you, you had zero to do with it, right? Um, you didn't promote it, weren't involved in it, anything. But 
from the outset, did you think that this was a disaster and a bad idea and you didn't want anything to do with it? There are my three last questions. Just, just briefly, Mr. Torrey. On all three? All three yeah, just very briefly. Um, I, I, my understanding is I am still in contract with RTE, yes. And my aim and hope is to go back to work. Fair enough. Um, the, uh, the billing you referred to was a, a car service from Dublin to Drogheda and back all in one night. I can go into further detail if you wish, but that's what that is. For you or for somebody else? Oh, no, for me. Okay. Uh, and thirdly and finally, the toy show, the musical, I think that the uh, people in RT were trying to dream big. I always wish them well with that, but it wasn't for me. Okay, thank you. you. Just, Deputy Catherine Murphy.